Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those giant animals? Have I been, have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train. But it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ugh. Oh God, oh God. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars and I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, the end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye little creature. Such a strange interaction. Here we are, wearing the same clothes for the 18th day in a row. <laughs> Dude.
Hey, dude. At the old snack call. Snalkin. <laughs> Come save me for boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town. In the in-town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Pretty much I am, yeah. Got nothing better to do to do than to wander around town. <clears throat> We're glaring at it, Mom. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey. Is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle baby. That's me, a miracle baby. After all the ma miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then, there, there you are. And here I am now. So, if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> Awkward silence. You know, you did have a baby. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie, I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. How's the weather today? Ooh. A bit better, huh? Construction's done. I'll check it out. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Are we skipping a whole big part of the story here, or what? Bridge freezes before road. Welcome to Possum Springs. You're not lost, you're here. <laughs> After this, a few miles. And you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn in Bridal. Always next year, for campfires and corn dogs. Trying to go under the bridge, but I guess you can't. I suppose there's got to be a reason. A reason for that bridge to be under construction, and then there's got to be a reason that you can pass it, I'd imagine. This is probably the last stargazing we get to do, I'm thinking. May! Mr. Chazikov. You look at... You look at bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? And you know it. Come have a look. We didn't compel complain this time. You gotta be close, right? A 
think I got one. Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. <clears throat> Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. <laughs> Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? Seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day and of their lives. So what happened to, to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Astra journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown far faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So, you know what became of her? Yeah. How she and her quest turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she was never seen again yeah whatever is that not a sad ending no disappearing isn't the same as dying she probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit oh my yeah so whatever Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. You and me both, my friend. So I don't know if we'll be able to see any stars anymore. Go down here just for kicks. I haven't been down here in a minute. Oh, nobody down here anymore. Oh, here we go. Hey, teens. Hey. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Cool. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safer in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone here... Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I couldn't ask my aunt. I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah. You know where Mulve is? You know what Mulve is? No. I heard about Mulve. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulve used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. I had to pay some other guy to do it. 
Sounds about right. What's Move? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We just drive through. I need to go back. I need to go get back in the sun now. See ya. So we know Molve now, I guess. Holy shit! The dudes! Someone hecked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Why did they do it? Oh no. Somebody like tagged up the, the miners. Well, that's definitely not good. Alright. Oh gosh, let's not go back in here, man. What's up? Nothing? You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Come on, Angus. You can say more words than that. Let's see what Bay has to say. Hey, Bay. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? I'm wandering out around town. Have fun. Uh, whatever you wanna do. Proximity. Apparently, Bay wants to do something. So, what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? It's a Jackie party. Remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order. Give them to hell. Tiwagoth? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twog. Hey, bass, say it. Say twog. 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 <laughs> anyway, this is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you, all going to secret parties and shit. You're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invited you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Eating pumpkin pie Buzz. for lunch. I think I went here once in Girl Scouts. See some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh, yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. What even was that play? Corvin the Thief. Old. Kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat. Lived in the woods, where no one could find him. But then he stole a diamond or something from the local king. And got arrowed to death. Oh yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part, where he's a ghost. But they never performed that one. Poor ghost cat. Alright, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. 
Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Bay. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May? Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why I gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Haha, <laughs> right. You don't talk this S out. You punch that S out. <laughs> you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. You can't have no sense of humor around this S. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Haha. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. A couple of born and bred harbor harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. You seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? We'll show them. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. Bay, I know. No, seriously, if any... Bay, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody's gonna come try and give us a drink. Hey, dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson? Samantha. I like it. it sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So, what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? Uh, I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires, and I play bass. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, vampire science. What does that entail? Bang measurement? Being up all night? Going to a lot of goth dark dork parties? That's why I'm here tonight. There aren't a lot of goth dorks here. 
I know, total bust. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm so used to awesome stuff that I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me a hand. Oh, all right. What? Oh wow! Secret handshake! Wow! <laughs> wow! It worked! Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha? Haha, <laughs> hexed again. Boom! Haha. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. I can't dance anymore. Hey, Bay. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend Bay is pretty cool. Aw, oh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> Like, Memento Mori and sh S. What's that? Remember, remember, you're gonna die. Jeez, does anyone need help with that? <laughs> you're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Haha, <laughs> well, a book you liked? I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me. Before he got dementia and died. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. Bay's mom is dead too. Ha 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 May, may, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. And my house exploded. Because there was a gas leak. When, when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had be before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us that's strange wow so Chris what are you majoring in? Polisai? well that's cool are there a lot of jobs in that? oh I don't know I just find it interesting I feel like you have the pretty be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting. That's interesting because haha <laughs> whoa whoa. Check out rich kid over there over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just cause something's interesting. Bay, Bay, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life? You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Haha. <laughs> May, you wanna dance some more? Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't wanna you sure you don't wanna go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so Oh, tell me about it. I know a lot about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And that's a small business. They'll speak their language. Get us free slices. Bay doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. <laughs> I'm gonna come along if that's okay, Bay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice. Santo. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While Rich Kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, Bay's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May, what? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Bay and I basically run Possum Springs. 
Except there's like a ghost or something. Do you live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Or Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick. Bay here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Bay. Bay, wait. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. 